before we get in before we get involved in any um, product uploads or anything one thing I have to get across is the size of images used on your website website images um, are very very important with regard to the speed of your website and how your website is going to perform on search engine optimization Google penalizes you if your images are too big and uh, we don't want that so without further ado I'm going to try and explain to you what the best image size is and how to get there so on uh, my web browser here I've got a thing called tiny MP and PNG tiny PNG what you can do is you can upload your photos here and it will reduce the size of your photo you download the photo in a zip file you extract the zip file and then you take your photo out and you have a photograph if we have a look at the photographs that we've got on on your website we have a look here at the size of the photograph it's 76k that's not a bad size um, this one's going to be a bit bigger 110 kilobytes that's not a bad size now all of these sizes are great normal image sizes uh, this is 564 that's a, a big size for a web a, a web thing so if you've got a lot of products and so on you want to try and keep the size of your images as small as possible so what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you basically how to upload an image onto your media folder and how to resize the image on your media folder so firstly um, if we look at these product images, most of them are 1024 by 764 or 684 or something, but they're 1024 wide. Try and make it 1024 wide by something smaller or 1024 by 1024 square. That is ideally what you want. Um, that's the size that you want for your product. This image that you see here is 1024 wide. Now that's the size of the image it's going to show when they look at the image on your, when they uh, select the image on your store and uh, they want to see the bigger image. That's the image it's going to show. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to upload an image. Um, this image that I'm going to upload is an image of a girl that uh, I uploaded earlier. Um, it's a big image you will see here it's going to take quite a while to upload it and what we're going to do is um, we're going to see how we can make the image faster and smaller and faster um, while we're doing that on the right hand side here you'll see this alternative text alternative text is also used in search engine optimization search engine it, it, it helps people that are blind or deaf to understand um, well mostly blind I suppose to understand uh, if they're getting if they're viewing the web or if they're visiting the website um, as a blind person this alternative text here is going to tell them what the image is about so yeah I would put in something like a colorful girl Colorful girl with painted hands. Anything. I mean, anything that's going to make any sort of sort of sense. The title of the picture we can just say "girl," or we can leave it as it was. The caption. If you want to put a caption in, you can put a caption in. This picture was taken. Da da da. -da and a description. Da da. You can put the caption. In. It's not necessary. That is very important. Alternative text is very important. And uh, for this particular image, then we want to edit the image. We want this image to be a size that is workable. Um, if we have a look at the size here, it's 2560 by 1707. As I said, it should be 1024, 1024 by something. Okay, 1024 by something. We scale it. Now that image is going to show decently on your product. Okay, we finished editing. There it is there. It's 1024 by 38. It's still a very big image, 313 kilobytes. Um, but if you have 
if you have software that can compress images to smaller, like I use um, Photoshop to compress my images, then I compress them to a WebP extension, then uh, it makes it a lot smaller. You'll have a look at it. my extension here is Image WebP. Um, it's not that easy to do, but it gives you a very good quality image with uh, uh, a very good compression. So here we have our image loaded, uh, edited. Um, when we upload products, which is going to be the next video, we're going to use this image as a product image to show you how to um, upload product images. Okay, thank you, and I look forward to you next time.